We're back, people, and today we're going to film on Emmanuel Ogba, Miami Dolphins' edge defender, and he obviously becomes way more important to this team's success down the line to, you know, in the absence of Jalen Phillips. He's going to play a lot more snaps. He's going to be that third guy in the rotation now, probably see his highest snap count of the season uh, next week versus Washington. And here, I think the best, you know, thing that he has going for him is, I mean, uh, play on the left side of the line, defensive line like this where Phillips used to play because during the most of the season he's been splitting time and he's clearly way more comfortable on this side he's uh, just looks better there his moves look better timing he looks even a little more explosive on this side it's just a comfortability thing he's always been better on that side of the line so if he does you know rotate in on that Phillips side he should see I think a little uptick in success compared to what we've seen throughout most of the season and then right here, they, you see they get to let him have his hand in the dirt, which is more his style, not being that stand-up guy. He's just not the greatest scheme fit. But I do think, you know, as a player, he still has a little bit left in the tank. Not as good as he used to be, you know, like a couple years ago for this Dolphins team. But he clearly came in in this Jets game and had a pretty solid game, two sacks. Most of the plays I'll show, he'll be on this side of the line. His other sack did come from the right side where Chubb plays too. It wasn't as impressive as like a play, in my opinion. He didn't look as like uh, comfortable there. But Ogba still has some skills. He has a lot of length, and he has pass rush moves in his repertoire. He's not the most explosive guy. He's not going to beat you with a bunch of bend, but he can set the edge versus the run, and he can also use his length and use his hands to get underneath, hitting, you know, gets engaged with two hands, then hits like that club to the outside, back of the elbow, rip underneath, and then just beats that guy with straight hands, gets to the quarterback, strips it as well. Um, and I think that's he can still be able to do this at times. Hopefully, you know, maybe they let him play with his more hand in the dirt than usual than most of the guys are allowed to, which I think would help with a ton, a ton of his success. Uh, mix things up, just play to your player strengths at times. I don't think it'll be like a full-time thing, but, you know, maybe obvious passing situations where he wants to, you know, do that, you allow him to, and I think you could see some success from him. I'm not expecting, like, some great turnaround from him compared to what he, how he looked earlier in the season. And going back, it was like 150 snaps he played this year. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't super impactful at times. Like, he had some big plays, but for the most part, it was just pretty much, uh, you know, get engaged, not create a ton of pressure, and then ha every once in a while have a big-time play. And I think that's kind of all you're looking for right now if he's going to be that rotational edge. Just every once in a while come in, just do your job, and then once in a while have a big play. So we'll see how it turns out. But I do think you'll see at least a decent play from Ogba the rest of the year. Talk about his other sack in this game, uh, just versus the left tackle this time, right side of the line. You can see uh, most of the time, we get to see hand in the dirt again. So clearly, you know, they're allowing him to do this, which I think is important. He does a good job with his hand fighting. He doesn't look as like bendy to this side. He looks a little more stiff, which is usually you're just not as comfortable. Uh, it's maybe that, you know, that inside foot, he's not comfortable as like bending on ankle flexion type thing. And uh, But he could still see the hand usage. Uh, fighting here creating that space you want to turn this guy open you're trying to win to the outside edge right there rip underneath he does a good job swiping keeping his chest clean and then you know helping get to boil uh i think he gets like uh, half a sack there um combined with raekwon but yeah just good stuff uh raekwon creates creates some disruption up front and then agba is able to win around the arc which makes him step up into the d tackle and they get like a combined sack there so it's still like he's still got some good stuff to work with i just don't think i'm like i'm not expecting like to see some great play but it's as a you know rotational guy i do think you know agba is not you know the worst option another pretty good pass rush up here for agba winning versus these jets offensive linemen i do want to see him go for some uh better guys because most of his big plays his success did come in this Jets game which I think you know is a good sign at least your best game was your most recent one he does another good job winning with his hands there around the edge they're allowing to have his hand in the dirt you know three point stance this time we saw some you know uh four point stance this time three you know uh fight underneath hit that move to the outside right there just good job keeping the chest clean again and then rip underneath everything is so like uh really precise and timed here he's a really good hands rusher he's got many moves in the repertoire uh he's always was known for like that cross chop move he dominated with it for most of his years on the dolphins but now you know winning in a couple other ways too the length the hands that's still where like his uh best traits best traits are are from this time it's a deshaun hand sack and we get to see agba rushing from the standing up position and we're gonna go through all of the 
like all log with snaps series. It's only like 150. And I'm not watching. I'm not playing all 150 snaps, but I'm going through all the games, finding all the best I think snaps to show what Ogba is still capable of. Here, standing up, you can see he can still use his hands. Like this is a really good two-hand swipe on the outside. 61. Like I mean, this is not a good player, but he, I don't even know what he's doing. I'm not even gonna try to guess. But he shoots out his hands, perfectly timed two-hand swipe, and then rip around the edge. And hand just won so quickly up front that uh. I was not able to, you know, get the credit for this sack, but it was a very uh, good win by Ogba as well. Nice to see him, you know, winning from the stand-up position because that's something you're going to have to do in this scheme, playing, you know, more of a as a s outside linebacker edge instead of a defensive end edge, hand-in-the-dirt type player. You're going to have to be able to do a little bit of both. I just don't think that scheme comfortability is the best fit for him, which is unfortunate, but at the end of the day, you're still doing a lot of similar things and we'll see uh how that translates to the rest of the season here's another ogba sack that he had earlier in the season he gets chipped gets slowed down nice to see a little bit of hustle there a good effort on this play a little bit of athleticism too like getting chipped by the tight end now you get engaged with the right tackle use your hands to kind of keep yourself clean you're trying to work up you see him escape the pocket you don't want to allow him to get past you so you know shove him aside use your hands and then good hustle he uses his length Showing a little bit of athleticism there. Make a play out in space versus Daniel Jones, who's a pretty athletic quarterback too. Uh, not, you know, like a pure pass rush rep that you you want to see type thing. But this is still an impact positive play. Not Things don't always go perfectly. I mean, Christian Wilkins was dominating that rep. But uh, yeah, just a good play by Ogba to finish. Gets a sack on his stat sheet. Not, yeah, not like the most traditional sack. But he was uh, getting some attention here with from the tight end the right tackle and uh but good job changing direction making a play i uh, like to see some playmaking ability when things don't always work out perfectly agba hand in the dirt against the giants again this time tyrot tyrot taylor's in this game and unfortunately this is probably his best like pass rush rep just looking at like how precise he was with his hands and how quickly he won he just wasn't able to finish the sack on taylor but this play does give me hope for what he still has left in the tank like Still going against the Giants starting offensive line, still not like super, you know, an impressive group. But at least he is beating up on guys who aren't that good, which is a good sign. Like, you want to see him beat good players. But if he still is able to beat up on not so good players, that means he still got his, you know, better than them at least on the, that level. He's not like a super liability where he can't beat the bad players. But here, it's just the timing. You can see the cross drop, how he sets this up. He gets the little hop, jump, timed with the hands there, that right hand getting it to the outside of the left hand, and then you hit it with the club to the outside and rip underneath. That is like vintage Agba. He's just unfortunately not able to finish the tackle on Tyrod Taylor. But this is like exactly, like, gets your hand into the dirt. This is exactly what he did well um, year, for years on the Dolphins. That was like the his biggest, you know, move. He would make so many impactful plays. If he can, you know, go back to just doing that, you know, once a game, I'd, I'd take that for sure. Nice little pressure here. Get off the ball. Um hand in the dirt again four point stance like that they've been allowing him to do this and a lot of his reps uh throughout the year it's clearly where he's more comfortable and he's able to just get pressure kind of you know for force a throw away too just turning open that right tackle he gets hooked up you can still see there's uh definitely some gas in the tank on plays like this um just explode off the ball get engaged you can see like timing up the footwork attack shoot out that right hand like you might you know try to counter back to the inside but you just turn this guy open, throw him out of the way, rip underneath. Sometimes you just try to use a uh, this like power type move, get that offensive line open up the gate. You can see a little bit of bend there. He's getting hooked around. Probably the most like flexibility I saw him out of this season. And then even try to you know stick with it, trip up Russell. But it does force him to escape the pocket, make an errant throw, incompletion. Those things help out and matter too. Last play that we're gonna break down here for Agba. Not really the most you know uh, traditional play. He just ends up getting the interception off the tip which is uh just wanted to show the the play it's a nice heads up awareness play he tries to you know hit this move to the outside like he's gonna you know get engaged right here with two hands and then rip underneath doesn't work exactly so he doesn't want to work too far past the quarterback get back into it uh doesn't really win the rep there to begin with but they get the tip at the line and he just ends up good the interception it's on the stat sheet gotta show it's not like his best play i do think really his best play was that missed sack. Like, obviously, it's not his best play overall, but it was his best, like, pure, just as a pass rush standpoint. 
looking at the moves how he won it that was his best like pure pass rush snap he's just got to finish the sack on that one it looked really good versus the giants i was thinking the jets game he played pretty good it was it the jets game was his best game of the season like overall i think he played like 13 ish snaps something like that but his snap count's gonna go up a little bit probably playing you know like 20 maybe 30 snaps some games and he's got to make an impact he's gonna get a chance to you know really turn this around and i th i do think you know he still has something there there's it's not like completely over like he's he's done with his career it's just i would you know i wouldn't be like trying to you know work him out there as a starter type player but i do think as like that rotational edge he can still make an impact as a pass rusher i didn't show anything really versus the run he didn't play a ton versus the run when, like when he was playing it was late in games uh rotating in so and, but throughout his career, he's been pretty decent versus the run as a run defender. I'm not really too worried about that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.